Some years ago, we did a one-tank trip to Port Clinton, where there's a man who makes his living teaching you how to search for the wrecks of Lake Erie. What you're looking at is a scene that most people have never laid eyes on, the wreck of the lake freighter F.H. Prince on the bottom of Lake Erie. The ship went down in 1911 when it caught fire. Today, it's helping spur a new tourist business on Lake Erie, scuba diving. We joined Rod Althaus, Jeff Wilson, and Jack Picar of Fort Clinton, all scuba divers, for a look at the last resting place of the ship. No lives were lost when high winds drove it onto the submerged rocks near Kelly's Island on the evening of August 8, 1911. Althaus, who operates the New Wave Dive Shop and Scuba Diving School in Port Clinton, uses the wreck as a training site for his students and found the site almost immediately. So you're lining up that point, that point. we got to go in maybe about 50 yards. Ooh. When the three got into the water, Jack Picar immediately verified Althaus's navigation. Right here. Come over the boiler right here. Since I don't know how to scuba dive, Rod Althaus agreed to take a waterproof camera under the water and show me what I was missing. The Prince rests in about 20 feet of water that is surprisingly clear. The divers could easily make out the wooden ribs of the old freighter, now encrusted with zebra mussels. The fish just seem to accept the three divers as fellow fish. There's a strange beauty to the lake bottom, the waves making the seagrass wave like wheat in a windy field. When Althaus took a break, I asked him how long it took to learn to dive. You're looking probably about 30 some hours of class in full time with the open water dives. And you can do it all right here. Yep. Although we had just had a heavy rain, Jeff Wilson said he was impressed by the visibility on the bottom of the lake. Visibility today wasn't too bad. Uh, I'd say it was around 15 feet. I would say Lake Erie is a Caribbean for Ohio diving. The divers credited the zebra mussel invasion with clearing up the murky lake, and with over 400 shipwrecks in Lake Erie, scuba diving may become one of our biggest water sports, and it's just a one-tank trip away. I'm Neil Zerker, Eight is News on Lake Erie. There are a lot of places to learn to scuba dive along the edges of Lake Erie, and of course there's still a lot of shipwrecks out there to see. By the way, my new book, The Best of One Tank Trips, is now available in the bookstores. I'm Neil Zerker.